The search moves north in the race against time to find two missing firefighters. They were last seen Friday leaving Port Canaveral. That search has already scoured more than 90,000 square miles in a span of five days. And what crews find in the coming hours will determine what comes next. The time has really become our enemy, and uh, we're really having to, to move forward with this. Something, something's got to happen. We're hearing from the Coast Guard tonight where leaders say the search for Brian McClooney and Justin Walker has become astronomically large. Crews are searching as far north as Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, and up to 120 miles offshore. And every day, the current extends the search area even farther. The News for Jack's crews go a little farther as well, keeping up with the efforts to find these two men. We begin with Corley Peel, keeping an eye on the latest developments at the command center. Corley. This search will now be moving north to Savannah and Charleston, and this means there will no longer be a search here in Jacksonville. Officials say with the search area being so large, it's making it more difficult for crews to find McClooney and Walker. As more days go by, the need to rescue two firefighters lost at sea is getting critical. On Wednesday, JFRD announced the search for Brian McClooney and Justin Walker will be moving north, focusing on Charleston and Savannah. Our time has really become our enemy, and uh, we're really having to, to move forward with this. Something, something's got to happen. According to officials, the search area is 250,000 square miles, which is nearly the size of Texas. Volunteers Billy Sermons and Audi Presidus used a drone to help with the search. They have these high-tech drones, so we went out 100 miles from the uh, inlet today and uh, launched these drones and uh, did as much as we could. Did your drone catch anything today? We had a lot of false uh, targets. Uh, we did find uh, what we thought was a head. Uh, it was a coconut. It looked very similar from far away. They also brought in this object that turned out to be a Coast Guard device used for tracking currents. Whatever we can do to help out our, our local firefighters and police, you know, we're, we're out there to support them. Although they didn't find another piece to the puzzle, Sermons and Poseidus say they're grateful they could help. Despite crews not searching in this area tomorrow, JFRD says that they will still have their command center here in Mayport. The Coast Guard says that they will have their first light search in the morning, and during that time, they will begin the conversation on what the future of the rescue will look like. Reporting live from Mayport, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.